wild eyes I know I've said it before But this is me, different party And she wanna hit the floor, no Hi guys, welcome back to my channel If you're new, my name is Juliana I'm so glad you guys can make it Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below And join the fam, it's a great time around here Today I'm gonna be filming a how to keep my hair blonde And how you can keep your hair blonde As well as blonde hair care tips And all that jazz Let's get started So the first thing that I can say is Blonde is definitely a lifestyle If you wanna have blonde hair You gotta keep it up You gotta go to your appointments You gotta make sure you're going to your touch-ups Got to make sure you're putting the right products into your hair and taking good care of it because trust me, blonde hair is definitely an upkeep and if you don't take care of your blonde hair, it's not going to turn out very well. So I'd recommend to just go to your appointments, make sure you're getting your tonings done as often as you need to get them done and just take care of your hair. Blonde is definitely a money, money, money guzzler, okay? Blonde hair is going to cost you a lot of money, a lot of time, and a lot of patience. So I love having blonde hair, but it definitely comes with a lot of <laughs> rewards. I don't know. So, okay, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that I like to do is use a shampoo and conditioner, of course, but it's got to be moisturizing. So I like to use, so I use Sally Beauty Supplies products because Sally Beauty Supply is a lot cheaper and they have the same stuff, but in generic packaging. So I just go ahead and get this stuff just because it's the same stuff, but in a different bottle, in my opinion. This is the Nexus Moisturizing Shampoo. And then I have the Nexus Moisturizing Conditioner. This stuff is really good. I love the smell of this. It makes your hair smell great. It moisturizes your hair and it prevents your hair from getting dry. The blonde hair shampoo, like purple shampoo, is really important as well. I like to use the Fanola No Yellow Shampoo. This stuff is amazing. It's like a deep, deep purple. It's almost like black and it turned my hair, my hands purple one time. And you can, you only leave this in for about five minutes or so. If you leave it in for any longer, your hair is probably gonna turn a light purple color and you definitely do not want that, so. I'd recommend to leave it in for no longer than three to five minutes and you only use this one time a week because if you use it more than one, one time a week your hair is probably going to turn purple but this just helps to keep all the yellowness out of your hair and I love this stuff. So everything that I'm listing in this video I will link down below as well so that you guys can go get it for yourself if you're interested. And then I don't wash my hair but like every three days or so so I'm actually planning on washing it tonight. It's kind of going down. So yeah, but having a good dry shampoo is very essential. I either use Batiste dry shampoo or I found this one at TJ Maxx. It's the Eva NYC Freshen Up dry shampoo. I really like this stuff. If I can find this online, I will also link this down below because it smells amazing and it's really good. It's prevented dry, not dry, what? It's prevented oily hair from getting even more oily. So I love this stuff and I will link it down below. Now, heat protectant sprays are also very, very, very important because if you don't have a heat protectant on your hair, you're literally just burning your hair when you use hair, hair tools. And you need heat protectant to prevent your hair from getting frizzy and damaged and dry. It's just very important. This is from Sally's Beauty Supply as well. It is the Silk Elements Mega Silk Olive Heat Protection Spray. This stuff is amazing. It does have oil in it, so you only spray like three squares on each side and then two maybe on this side. If you part your hair sideways, I do. So I do about two squares on this side and then three on this side. And it protects my hair from the heat and then I get to style my hair just how I want to. And then when I get out of the shower, I always use a leave-in conditioner. This is compared to the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Conditioner. This stuff is amazing, it smells amazing. It makes your hair super soft and silky smooth love it so i'm gonna link all of this stuff down below like i said but having a leave-in conditioner really helps to detangle your hair just because when you have blonde hair your hair can get super detangled or detangled your hair can get super tangled because of all the like the, all the bleach that you're putting in your hair when you go get it done so i make sure to do that and then once i do all of that and I style my hair and everything. I kind of went a little bit wonky on this video, but after you wash your hair, dry it, style it, all that jazz, you're gonna wanna add in a shine oil. So like, I have two different ones, two different ones that I like to use, either the bath pack hair oil, this one smells really good, I only use like one pump of it, and then I'll just rub it through my hair and kind of helps to tame the frizz and just get rid of all the frizz, makes it smell good, or I'll use this one from Sally's Beauty Supply. It is the Matrix Biolage Shine Renewal Shine Spray. It smells so good. Love it. And then, of course, you have to use hairspray because hairspray is essential to holding your hair. I use this one. It is the Kenra Volume Spray. 
It is finishing hairspray with super strong hold. Yes, stuff is so good. So that's it. That's really it, but think about it. That's a lot of products. So yes, hope you guys are excited to fix your hair. No, I'm just kidding with you guys. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe down below and join the fam. And I'll talk to you guys on my next video. Bye, guys.